Well, hello, YouTube. And the metaphors and beyond. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is a little bit of a sad day, but also a good day. Sad day because the mighty tiger, yeah, she's going. Oh, and I've fought myself, and I've fought myself, and I've argued with myself, but came to the decision she has to go. And I'll tell you why. Can hear all of you saying now, but Lee, why? Why is the tiger going? What's wrong with it? Well, do you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just been playing on my mind and tugging up my heartstrings. So, anybody that knows me would know that the uh, the mighty Tiger 900 was the last bike that I developed with Triumph Motorcycles. I did more miles on this bike than any other development test rider through circumstances that uh, at the time allowed me to do so. So in total I did just over 55,000 miles on this uh, particular model through development. Do you know what? The bike fits me like an old pair of slippers and that's part of the problem. So I feel like I've owned this bike twice already and uh, even though I love this bike I'm just not in love with it and that's my problem it's just not floating my boat like I thought it would but like I say nothing wrong with it I absolutely love it it does everything that this bike was designed to do and more but I'm just I'm not feeling precious about it like I should be for a motorcycle that I spent just over £10,000 on and that's my problem is the relationship that I've got with this motorcycle and I think because I've already had that relationship, wow, it's just uh, not floating my boat. So, I'm actually getting another Triumph. I know, I know. Look, you can take the man out of Triumph, but you can't take the Triumph out of a man. I'm a Triumph fanatic, a Triumph nut. For me, they're the best motorcycles in the world. I know, I spent the last 12 years developing them. And uh, there's one particular triumph that uh, I always said I would return to at some point because I only ever did 5,000 miles in uh, in development and uh, I did like it I did love it I just never got the opportunity to go back to it because there were so many motorcycles to work on so that's what I'm doing I hear you say what are you having next Lee what are you having next so what's next Lee what's next I am at I'll show you where I am I'm at uh, one of my favourite Triumph dealerships in the whole wide world and that is Staffordshire Triumph uh, a lovely guy called Bob owns this and I doubt we have a lovely young man called Dan who is uh, he's an amazing salesman himself and they had a uh, uh, they had this bike in their dealership I spotted it a couple of weeks ago and obviously now the tiger's gone I, uh, I rang him up and we struck a deal and I got a good deal and uh, so without further ado, <laughs> this is the bike I went for. <laughs> and here you have it, the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE. Well, what do I think so far? Well, on looks, absolutely bloody love it. Well, I've got to say, yeah, I definitely know that I've made the right bloody decision because all I've done is smile since jumping on this bike. I've done about 40 miles now. And I've got to say, I bloody love it. Ah, oh, just the feel of it. Just the excitement and the smile that it's put on my face. Yes, the mighty Tiger 900 was a beautiful bike and there was nothing wrong with that bike at all. So uh, don't be thinking that I got rid of that bike because it was there was something wrong with it or it wasn't good enough for me because do you know what? That bike is bloody beautiful. But like I said uh, earlier on, I already feel like I've owned that bike twice. Purely because the, the amount purely because the amount of miles I did in pre-development so this one's always been itching itching in the back of my mind shall I shall I shall I shall I oh god I'm so glad I did so as you can see she is uh, the 1200 XE and you know it's just a good good motorcycle yeah there's a bit of technology on it you know grit spotlights whoever owned this before really did love it 
and uh, I don't think there was any expense expense spared for them when they owned this bike. <laughs> what do I think? I gotta say, uh, first impressions. Oh, I don't like her. I bloody love her! Oh, oh yes! Definitely made the right decision. This bike, it really does float my boat. I'm telling you, I can't stop looking down at this beautiful tank. Ah, uh, just, just feels good, just fits me. I just feel very precious about it from the off, i got to say. I think uh, myself and this young lady are going to get on just fine. So, uh, yeah, there's a few things I want to change. There's a few things I've got to do. I need to put a taller screen on for uh, the Budsy because uh, he will struggle with the uh, the wind, that's for sure. And, uh, oh, I've got to say, bloody love it. So, not far from home now. And the blue sky came back out for me. So yeah, that's us. We've swapped bikes. The Tiger has gone. We were going to a lovely new home, no doubt. Hopefully they'll look after her and treat her with the respect she deserves. But I'm glad that I made the decision. Because after doing 60 miles on this bike, it really was the right one for me. So, come back for more content on this bike and adventures that me and Buddy will have on the mighty Scrambler 1200XC. Ah, oh, lovely. So, until the next time, stay safe out there, stay safe, live your best life.